New Year is here, and I want to have a serious conversation because so many people take it too casual. When it comes to New Year's, New Year's resolutions, building what you want for 2024, it has to be taken very strategically. It has to be a serious conversation because so many people write lists by week two, three, they're already forgotten about. Some of them, they disappear faster when Thanos snapped his fingers. We don't want that. We want to be very strategic about it. You want to, it's almost like you're sitting down in the bunker, in the tent, in the barracks where you're with the generals and you're sitting down, you're coming up with a strategic, comprehensive plan, bringing in all the variables, you know, as much as you could think about. You got the maps on the wall, you've got the battle boards up. You're sitting down and thinking about all the different ways you can build, you can architect, you can create this plan, this initiative moving forward. You're setting up the blocks, you're setting up the meeting points, you're setting up the routines, you're setting up everything you can in order to make sure your group, your side, your team, your unit is going to have a victory. That we're gonna eliminate all the possibilities of failure. We're gonna strategically set this up. This is about building and architecting your life because if you allow the randomness to life to just deliver things up, you're never gonna get as much as you want. You're never gonna get as much as you deserve. But when you sit down, focus in and you actually draw a blueprint and architect what you want in your life and then create routines, put those in place in order to get there, then you are going to have so many more victories. You're going to have a more enriched quality of life. You're going to have a life that's built on your terms. You're going to architect and build and grab these things and bring them to your own life because you sat down with a pen and pad you sat down with your generals, putting up the maps and coming up with a strategic, comprehensive plan for your bigger future, for your next year. And guess what? All that comes down to the New Year conversation. What it boils down to in the end is making a decision. So many people forgot what a real decision is. It's not something that you waver on or go back and forth. A real decision is what I like to call a championship declaration. You plant your flag, you drew the line in the sand, you said, I ain't going back. You burn the bridge behind you and say, look, the only option I have is to move forward. That is in turn making a real decision. So many people forgot that or didn't get the powerful reminders of what that is. And that's what New Year's resolutions, architecting your life, building a great year is all about. The other thing I want to do as we move forward into the new year is I want to celebrate you for last year. I want to celebrate you for all the great things that you've done. You pushed last year. You made some great moves last year. You had some great victories, great wins, great things seen and unseen that you should be praised for, celebrated for, thanked for. So those people's lives that are touched because of the work you did, because of the love you poured into, all the things you've done for other people, I salute you for doing that. I champion you for doing that. You did the work. You do matter. You are here for a purpose. You have bigger, you're bigger and stronger than you may think. And I want to celebrate you here and now. I want to say thank you. Great Jim Brown always taught me with some of the greatest things, many of the greatest things we do in life, nobody is going to even see. But we know behind the scenes, cameras are off. We have private victories that we can be proud of. Who cares if so many other people see it? They don't need to see it. We know. We need to make sure that we're getting celebrated. We're celebrating ourselves. We're patting each other on the back. Another thing I learned just being in athletics that one day the applause, the cheers, the claps will stop. And you will have to be the one to continue the cheers, the applause, and claps for yourself and the people around you in your own life. There's certain people around you that need to be celebrated and you are the perfect person to do that. So as we, I celebrate you, and you celebrate some of the things that you accomplished in the past, that you've uh, overcame in the past, that you dug deep and found a way, even though people said it was too hard, it was impossible, other people quit, you made it through. When you're celebrating yourself and integrating those wins in your own life, don't forget, there's people around you that need that celebration that need that cheer, that need that pat on the back to keep going, to let them know they're doing the right thing, they're on the right path, and that, hey, I see you, good on you, you're doing a great job. 
very important that we do that and we look through that as the lens of the leader. Because the greats who came before me always said, these gifts were passing on to you, given to you, great gifts, amazing gifts that I will never be able to repay aren't fully complete until they're passed on. So I'm asking you to pass on the great gifts that you were given and enrich other people's lives. And when we do that, we create a greater quality of life for us and everybody that surrounds everybody that looks up to us. But on the flip side of that, challenge David's coming through to tell you, get close to the camera for this one, and I'm included in this. What we did last year wasn't enough, it wasn't good enough. You didn't push hard enough. You didn't do that extra rep, run that extra mile. We need to do more. We also need to give ourselves more grace. We need to give ourselves and others more forgiveness. We didn't do that enough last year. We need to give ourselves more rest and recovery so we prevent some of the burnout, so we prevent some of the attacks that we give other people when we feel overwhelmed. We must continue to build the routine, add in learning to our life. We must do more. And this is your challenge coming from me, live and direct to the camera. I don't care what age you are or where you are in life. We, when we look over the long term, the last 12 months, we know certain areas we know we could have done better, we could have done more. And this is your challenge to get that even better, to make that step, to push a little bit harder. That's how we master the game. That's how we enjoy more of the quality of our life. That's how we live a more enriched quality of life and honor the deliberate design of our creator and what I like to call hunting greatness. We are always on the hunt for our greatness. There's always another level. Perfection is not going to be achieved, but each year, each moment we look back, we can shorten the gap and maximize our potential in this thing we all are here for. It's not practice session. We're all full participants in the game of life. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be the same person I was one, three, five, ten years from now. I want to continuously hunt my greatness and shorten the gap. I hope this served you. If you like what you're seeing, I invite you to join inside the Holloway Huddle. There'll be a link in the description. And in there, we go live every single month where I'll be teaching a master class on personal development, peak performance. We also get our strategic game plans every month so we know what we need to do, what we should focus on. We also know what we need to stop doing and listen, this isn't for people who casually sit in the stands. This is for people who are high achievers, peak performers, who want to do great things, who have big dreams in life. That's who this is for. So I invite you to click the link below. I look forward to supporting you, to teaching you, to sharing with you, to continuously helping you hunt your greatness inside and out. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope you found that valuable. I have so much more amazing content videos coming and I don't want you to miss out. So subscribe. If you want some more awesome videos, you can check those out. Until I see you again in the next one, keep going out there, hunting your greatness inside and out.